Hey, mister. There you go. That's a fine deal. That'll be all. Thanks. So long. This establishment welcomes you. Old blacksmith says, Hello, he friend. Don't fashion me you won't find style. anything Jewish made in this establishment, sir. Anything else I can do for you? A fine choice. Thanks. That's good. Please come again. There's a leading man if I have... Hello there. What brings a fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment? Establishment? This place looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited thinking. Have you not seen the future, my friend? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? Arts is what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. But that is why I am to build my new film studio and make New Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years now we'll be here. I'll produce adventure stories as well as melodramas for the ladies and even some fantastical shorts for children, young and old. Heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently, the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice tables over at Thieves' Landing. If you could do me the favor to wrest control from him, I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. I'll see what I can do. I'm not much of a high-stakes gambler, and movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock. Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. 
Then the fool began to believe it was for real. And now he's run off to become a gunslinger. For real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Fool will have himself killed if you don't help. If I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir. Mister, watch it, you bollock. Up, sister. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, I'm good. Blimey. But I've come to tell you if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Oh. Oh. 
Oh, oh, Mr. Marston. Oh, how are you? Ashamed. Oh. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Oh. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, a Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the uh, parts for you. Uh, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? <laughs> My wife would kill me. I thought you was in some kind of hurry. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Huh? I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my prison fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty <laughs> That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks Jesus, as me. Don't go get I tried to only rob those who no had more than they deserve. Christ, the church has more money, money than anybody. Friend, you want to come down off that river? Where are we going, Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble Tom's feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. All right, we're here. Stay close. Damn it. That stuttering bastard said this would be open. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drips. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Shaky, who are you working with? I, I, I'll know. Oh, shite. Oh, Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got oh. himself found out. <laughs> all right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly... At an old time, hi. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again! <laughs> I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck.
did he come from? You ain't gonna win this! For your kindness, Mister. I thought th 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 I was a dead man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Let's head before the door. Follow me. That was too close to my life. My apologies, man. Come on, you the bastard! Who's that? Shit, 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 nail! Let's shoot the hell out of these cowards! The bad 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 shit! Introduce these son of bitches to your bull! I can't believe it! All right, let's get out of here while we got the chance. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 -k -k -k. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you d d d dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. F Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Like 
like a bloody crow. Just drive, Irish. You're acting like a schoolgirl. I'm telling you, Irish, that machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Look out, there's one on the bridge up ahead. Jesus, we really ruffled a few feathers back there. Seems like half New Austin wants to be dead. Thanks, you, boy. Come back, Doc. You got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm going to need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're going to be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Uh, Slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. <laughs> <laughs> 
but for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Esconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go! All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a pulp sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, Rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, <laughs> this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! <laughs> This should do the Get trick! Your thumb out of your nose. Get them, John! This ain't good! Just try to stop me! Good God! 
a dang pig. Them cocksucking some bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. All right, boys, let's finish this. I think my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! General Atten let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh, Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Marston. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. 
Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> yes, bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa! Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. 